Alrighty, let's calculate the period in both radians and degrees for the function y equals 3 times sine 11 over 7 theta. This 3 represents the amplitude, and this number here, call it the b, usually b times x or b times theta, represents, is related to the period. So the period, and this is the equation you'll want to know, is 2 pi over b. So the period is 2 pi over 11 over 7. And to deal with this fraction inside a fraction, we flip flip it. So we multiply it by 7 over 11. And what we do to the bottom, we got to do to the top. And if we flip this fraction and multiply top and bottom, these it cancels out. 7's cancel, 11's cancel. That's pretty nice. And we're left with 2 pi times 7 over 11, which is 14 pi over 11. And there's no units here. But with this uh, equation, this is in radians. Okay, so that's radians, so that's done. For degrees, we just need to convert radians to degrees. And so we'll have 14 pi over 7 radians. And to get degrees, we need radians to cancel out, and we want the degrees here. Now, if you go around a full circle, you've gone 360 degrees. If you've gone around the full circle, you've also traveled two radians, so two, two pi radians. 360 degrees is the same as 2 pi radians. So we can multiply this by this fraction here because these both are the same. And radians cancel out, and we're left with degrees. So 14 times, oh, 14 times pi times 360 divided by, uh, now we've got to do brackets here, 11 times all right, yeah, 11 times 2 times pi. Well, pi cancels out. I didn't have to include pi, but that's okay. 229, approximately. 229 degrees. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.